So this is my July haul. Um, I am also going to add in something that I did buy today, which I completely forgot to pick up. Uh, which is a pillow but um, I'm filming this on the 1st of August but I figured whilst it's still got the tags on and stuff I'm just going to show you this now so the bit, the one, the thing that I picked up today was this Hufflepuff cushion from Primark it's just got the back and it says um, dedication, patience and loyalty which are the three characteristics of a Hufflepuff and this was £6 so I love this. I picked up the last one. There will be more in the stores, but it was the last one that I picked up. Now on to the stack of books. I did go a bit crazy, however, a lot of these, well not a lot of them, um, half of them are from either the works or Asda, which are pretty cheap for books. And the other ones, one is from a proper bookstore. Um, two well two three technically from proper bookstore but four five six are from BookCon, which it well it was yelp it was young adult literature convention that i attended at the end of the month so i will get to those last but first i will show you the ones that i got either from the works or asda i'll show you asda first because i only got one from there and that was 15th Affair by James Patterson. You will see this as a theme for this section is mostly James Patterson. Um, I've read some of this series. It is currently an 18 book series and I have read book 16, 16.5 and 17 of the series and I'm just slowly collecting from 1 all the way up to 15 which I now have. So you will see these up until I've collected them. I'm also collecting another series just because I bought the third book and didn't realise. It was either the third or the eighth book I bought and I didn't realise. Um, but yeah, I did pick that up. Um, I'm just trying to work out which way I did this, I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So on the first trip to the works that I had, I picked up 10, 12 and 14 from the series, which is 10th Anniversary, 12th of Never and 14th Deadly Sin. The sticker pulled some of the cover off, but I'm not mad because these were three books for £5, which they are mass market paperbacks, but that's just the sizing that they had. They do have some um, standard size paperbacks like this one. This was £4.50 from Asda. So you can see how cheap this store is. They're not bad quality. They're like plasticky covers, but you get them in normal shops anyway. They are mass market paperbacks, which again, you get in normal shops anyway. So yeah, they're just a really good deal. And I picked those up. On, um, I will go through what the series is in a minute because I do have another book from that series. Um, so from my third trip, I, from my second trip, sorry, I picked up three more books and I picked up the 13th, no, Unlucky 13, which is book 13 in the series. So this series and the other however many there is, um, follow um, the Women's Murder Club, it's the Women, Women's Murder Club series. Um, it follows a detective, a journalist, a prosecutor I believe and a coroner as they deal with um, murderers and things like that. Um, it's basically like a thriller series of say you would watch Law and Order. It's essentially a books version of that um, which I really like and I love them. I love the two that I've read plus the novella that I've read so I can't wait to pick all these up. I do have number five as well so I'm getting there but number five was bought ages ago <laughs> so yeah uh, the other ones that I picked up is only one more James Patterson book and that is Never Never I believe this is the first book in 
either Detective Harriet Blue series or Harriet Blue series or Detective Blue. I can't remember, but it's something like that. But this follows, again, a detective, um, I believe solving crimes. I believe that's what these follow. But I picked up the third book, I think, for this one in the series. And I just, I saw this one, which is Liar Liar, I believe, something like that. Or Lies Lies. Um, I believe it's Liar Liar. <laughs> which again, was a different month. Um, I picked that up and then realised it was a third book in the series. And I was like, damn. But I was just going to read it anyway, because that's what I did with 16th Seduction, which is the 16th book in women's murder club and it made complete sense but I saw this and I just picked it up I was just like I may as well it's in the offer it's very cheap so I just picked it up <laughs> finally for this the works section um the book that I picked up to go with those two um was Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott and this is about cystic fibrosis. This is now a film. However, um, the book is based on the film, so it's backwards. Normally you get the film based on the book, um, but this one's a book based on the film. Um, the author of this, or the screenwriter of this, did have cystic fibrosis, so this is an own voices um, view on the disease and cystic fibrosis is a lung disease and it's very serious it can it's terminal and can be life-threatening it shortens periods of life depending on how severe you have the disease um it's genetic i believe so yeah so i can't wait to read this it's a very short book and i hope to read that before watching the film even though it's backwards don't ask me why <laughs> Okay, so getting on to the London slash Comic Con stuff. So I'll just show you the one that I picked up in London. They're all from London, but this one was specifically from Foils in London, and that was Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Margaret Rogerson. This is her second book that she has out. Um, I'm really excited to read this and it's floppy pages inside which I love. Um, this was £12.99 but I did get student discount on this which is a thing that we have in the UK. Woo. Um, so I think I paid like 11 60 something for this which was pretty good um, for a hardback. So yeah I did find this really beautiful edition of the book and I'm so happy to read this. Um, finally we have the stuff that I picked up from BookCon. So, the first two that I picked up were full price books at $7.99 each. And I picked up Rebel of the Sand and Traitor to the Throne by Alwyn Hamilton. And these are both signed by the author. So, Rebel of the Sands just says join the rebellion and then has the author's signature. And Traitor to the Throne says, you are a rebel, uh, you are a rebel on a, and then again, the author's signature. There was the, th the third book in the series, but I didn't want to buy all three, and it was again signed. I just, I didn't want to get all three. So, I got those two. <laughs> um, the next section is these three uh these were at one stall um sorry these two were from the works no the waterstones stall at yalk which is young adult literature convention it's every year it's a part of comic-con but it's on a different floor you either get yalk tickets and then enter comic-con via yalk or you buy comic-con tickets and enter yalk via comic-con that is that very confusing mess out of the way. Um, but yeah, I picked up three books from the Harper Voyager, the Harper Voyager store. And these were 
three paperbacks for £10, which is really good because they were either £5 each or three for £10. So I essentially got one of these for free. Um, so I picked up The Poppy War by Aris Kong, which I've heard a lot of good things about and I'm so excited to read. So I picked up this. I also picked up two books in a series and the third book comes out very soon, which was Nevernight and God's Grave by J. Kristoff. I am so excited to read this. So excited. Um, and they also had like this deal kind of thing that they had on um, where you signed up to the Harper Voyager newsletter and you got Nevernight free as an audiobook. So I do have that too, um, which I'm probably going to use alongside reading the physical copy. Just I feel like it might speed up the reading a little bit. I don't know. Or I could change between editions. Um, so yeah, and for that you also got a tote bag, which was pretty good. The final book that I picked up, and the final book for this section, I say section, it's the final book of the video. Again, like the last video I just filmed, um, I've not gone into much detail about any of the books because they are a lot and I am filming three videos back to back. I will be going into a lot more detail in the next video. Um, just because there is a lot of stuff that I have to clarify in that one. Um, so yes, that is why there's not much in this one. Plus I don't know a lot about these books, so they're just either things that I've heard of and picked up and want to read and stuff like that. So yeah. So the final book I picked up was Finale by Stephanie Garber and this is the beautiful red and white edition, which I believe is the normal edition, but I'm not 100% sure. There's nothing under the cover, under the dust jacket of this one. When I was in foils, I did see a special edition of Finale, and I was really annoyed because I could have got spent another an extra five pound and got that edition. But I'm happy with this one, so I didn't get that edition. But I am really, really happy with this one. It is so beautiful and sparkly, and yes, I've only read Caraval, and it's up here. So I have Legendary next to it, and this is the space that. Um, finale goes into and I am so excited to get to this. I have Legendary to read and then I have Finale. So yes, that is everything for this video. If you did like this video, which was a chaotic mess, please like it and give me a comment saying how I can improve things. If you do want to know more about any of the books that I have mentioned or series that I've mentioned in this series, please just comment down below and ask and I will tell you and we can have a discussion about that. If you've read any of these books, please tell me if you enjoyed them. And yes, I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!